Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. I like to explore power options when the power goes out. So I recently wired in a generator plug for this furnace. You can check that out in another video. But for this video, I wanna go through troubleshooting running your home furnace on a generator because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So we'll just go through them one at a time. So the first thing, probably the biggest problem you're gonna run into is your ground neutral bond. Now, usually the ground neutral bond if you're plugged into your house outlet, will be connected at the main panel on your house. The ground and the neutral are literally connected in the main panel of your house, at least in the United States, that's how they do it. But if you're running on a generator, many times your generators are have a floating ground, so there's not a connection there. So what you wanna do, what I did, so basically I have this pigtail and I've connected the ground and the neutral. I made a really good bond there and I covered in this hot, so that's not gonna shock anybody. So basically, <clears throat> this is my blue eddy that's gonna be running my, my furnace here. So I use my meter and I test the continuity between, between ground and a neutral here. There's not a connection, but if I plug this plug in, it makes a ground neutral bond between all of these plugs. And then the furnace, when it starts up, the computer system tests for that ground neutral bond. And uh, if there is a ground neutral bond, it'll go ahead and start the furnace and run through all of the different uh, startup processes. That's probably the most common thing that is wrong. So the next thing you're gonna wanna make sure you have is good clean power running to your generator. You don't running to your furnace. You don't wanna be plugging in grandpa's old uh, 8,000 watt generator. If there's a lot of delicate electronics, on these new furnaces and uh, you could damage something or a lot of times the furnace isn't even gonna start up. Next thing you wanna check is that your generator isn't running on eco mode. Make sure you're getting good 120 volts. Also in the United States, we, have, we run on uh, 60 Hertz. So this multimeter can make sure it's running at 60 Hertz. Maybe it's 65 or it's a little bit off. That could be also your problem. You might wanna switch generators. So I have seen some people plug a hairdryer into their generator and that can lower the hertz down just enough to start it if you're really in an emergency. Okay, so if it's still not running, when it tries to, when it tries to run, a lot of times there'll be a light in there bleaking and it'll indicate a specific error code. So you can call the manufacturer or look on the sticker. Sometimes a sticker will tell you what error code that is and then that'll help you troubleshoot as well. Okay, one other thing that uh, I think it was HVAC guy has another YouTube channel mentioned doing this is uh, make yourself a custom plug where you have the ground connected only and you have the ground connected as well on both sides. Don't connect the hot or the neutral. So I only have the grounds connected here. Basically you can Plug this into your generator, one of the port, one of the outlets on your generator, and then plug this into the outlet on your house, and that'll establish a better ground connection that your furnace may be looking for. Now for this plug, if this plug is wired up correctly, there should always already be a connection between the ground here and the ground in your house, because this plug should be connected to the frame of this uh, furnace, this furnace should be connected to the ground in your house. So this is what was wrong with my generator. My ground screw had vibrated loose. And so you can double check all your connections in your wiring, but that was what my problem was. But hopefully that helped you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, but I appreciate any feedback you guys have. If this helped you, go ahead and like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.